Did you guys know that I'm too stupid for YouTube? I didn't, but apparently this guy thinks I am. He made a whole 10 minute video about why Luke Davidson is too stupid for YouTube. So let's check it out. I've been dying to talk about this. Everyone likes some good old random fag videos, right? Makes you yes, feel like sir. you actually accomplished something while watching YouTube all day. You've obtained a bit of knowledge to fill your empty head. And I don't like have I an empty head. Pretend, like I'm not a fan <laughs> of it too. I love some Jack Neal, okay? Stuff I know him. Provides real and Jack Neal and I are buddies. Not complete and utter Except for a certain somebody named Luke Davidson. Now, from what I got, he's one of those cringy reaction channels. Hey, cringy reaction channels? What are you doing right now? You're making a reaction video on me. Like, come on now. Whatever, call me cringe, call me whatever you want. For, but he's also doing on like little fact videos on TikTok. And I've seen them on my YouTube recommendeds and I, the, the least I can say is that they're just dumb. He bit so this guy's making fun of my fact videos? My fact videos aren't even bad. Like, I understand if he was gonna be talking about my comedy videos, because I have watched videos on YouTube of people bashing me about my comedy videos, saying, oh, they're so cringe, you need to quit YouTube, all this other stuff. I'm gonna be honest here, I don't like watching those videos, because whenever I watch those videos, I get a weird feeling in my stomach. It's just weird watching, like, a 10-minute video of somebody bashing me. I don't know. So I've stopped searching up those videos, because whenever I search it up and I see it, it, it tempts me to click it and whenever I click it then I get that weird feeling and then I think about it and then my day well I wouldn't say my day is ruined but if I don't watch it my day is better if that makes any sense and even with comments whenever I post a new video I only read the comments for like the first couple hours because I know they're like fans people who actually like my videos and aren't just gonna be leaving hate but then after a while it gets on the recommended and other people start seeing it and they're like oh you're so cringe delete this video quit your YouTube channel you're so dumb things like that yeah I don't like reading those comments so I just stopped reading the comments a couple hours after I post the video. Okay, let's see what this guy has to say about me. The least I can say is that they're just dumb. He basically makes the same sort of content as Jack Neal, except, you know, he doesn't put any research into it at all, which... What is he saying, man? Lots of people don't realize this, but those fact videos, like, they take a long time to make. Even though it's only, like, a 30-second video, it takes a long time to do research, like, hours. But I don't know what he's saying. Let's hear it. Which, honestly, I believe is very painful. So let's just get into one of the videos that I absolutely despised from him, which is five everyday things you had no idea the use of. Now, just so you know, he you despises might end up me. losing a few brain cells while watching, so viewer discretion is advised. Like, why is he saying that? It makes no sense. If anything, you're gonna learn from these fact videos. That's why I named it Luke Davidson Facts. Here's five everyday things that you didn't know the purpose of. The number 57 on Heinz ketchup bottles. According to Heinz, only 11% of people know that it has nothing to do with the product label. It's actually a sweet spot to tap on to get the sauce onto your plate. That is true for the glass bottles that nobody uses anymore, so not really an everyday item, but whatever. Ketchup is an everyday item whether you like it or not. I mean, I'll be honest here. I don't have ketchup every day, but it's like, it's a popular item, and that's basically what I meant. I guess I could have named it, like, five popular items you didn't know the purpose of or something like that, but it's just the way I worded it he doesn't like, so whatever. <laughs> childproof bottle caps. Everyone knows plastic medicine bottles come with childproof caps, but if there's no children around, you could flip the cap upside down and it's no longer childproof. Now, you can do that, but there's also another thing you can do, which is just take off the cap if you have the intelligence above that of a child okay let's say you're at my house i have three cats and let's say you have pills and i don't think you want your cats to be having those pills or say dogs because i know people like dogs more than cats usually because dogs are smarter than cats so say you have your dog there and you have um your medication on a counter let's just say your dog happens to jump up there knocks it down and he eats them and something happens to him. that's why people have caps same thing with a water bottle you have a cap for a reason so it doesn't spill it's more than likely that that piece was just part of the mechanisms that make the cap childproof the arrow next to the fuel tank the arrow actually points to which side of the vehicle the fuel tanks on which is really handy if you're renting a vehicle wow an actually somewhat useful thing except that except what before you get into a car you're more than likely going to see that that the, the oil that the, the gas oil. tank is not on a, thank a you gas side. tank okay i don't think the first thing you look at when you hop into a vehicle is which side the gas tank is on it's not like a common thing that pops into your brain so let's say you have your rental vehicle you're going oh you get a little notification thingy saying that you're low on gas so you want to go fill up for gas but you're like oh crap which side is the, f the gas tank on because it's not something that people look at on a car like this guy says it is i mean maybe it is but for me i don't think it would be oh which side is it on mm, yeah the left side okay i'll remember that and even if you do look at it you could forget if you're in it for you have it for a couple days okay 
So yeah, you're low on gas, you gotta pull into a gas station, but you have no clue which side it's on. So instead of pulling over onto the side of the road, getting out of your vehicle, checking which side it's on, you could just look down for a second, and you're like, okay, it's on the right side, so you pull up and get your gas, and you're good to go. Like, why has he gotta be so mean about everything? <laughs> the little slot at the end of tape measures. This slot can be held on nails when you're measuring, so you don't need anyone else to hold it. Uh, okay, that's not the use of the actual ridge for measuring tape. <laughs> Before I talk, let me hear what he says. <laughs> Bridge of measuring tape is supposed to be held on the side and edges of surfaces so you're able to properly hold it. No, really? I didn't know that. He's missing the whole point of what I said. I don't have any tape measure nearby me, but I'm talking about... Here, let me go back in the video. I literally said the slot at the end of the tape measure. This little circle right here. I didn't mean the ridge. I meant the little slot. And that's actually what it's for. Like, I understand, look at, in this picture, you could see it's on the edge, like, you hook it onto the edge and you pull it back, I understand that. But if you, there's no edge and there's a nail, say you're, like, putting up a painting on the wall, you want to make sure it's level me measured right or whatever. And look at, the this next picture, look at, that's what it's actually for. It's, like, a fact. It's not cap, it's fact. <laughs> not to be put on a nail that's not the reason it was there and if you're saying it's just a possible use it's not the main use so why is it in this video it is the main use of the little slot which is the little part that i was talking about i wasn't talking about the 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 actual ridge i was talking about the slot the ridge is on the f and j keys these are there so your index fingers can locate other keys with muscle memory making it easier to type literally anybody who's ever used a keyboard before knows that you're not special if you didn't know that then you're just Sorry. Hey, so, don't know, be calling me an two. idiot. <laughs> so uh, let's see the part. I don't care if he calls me an idiot. He probably didn't think I was going to be reacting to this video. Here's five everyday things that you didn't know the purpose of. Number one, the hole in pot handles. Most people use it to hang pots and pans. That would be the main reason they're there, yes. And that's why I said it, because that is the main reason. So what's he going to say now? But it can also be used to hold spoons when you're cooking so you don't make a mess. Okay, the hole on the pots and pans was 110% not made for that. That is a thing you can do. Exactly. Whoa, number watch two, the language, the buddy. Okay, what does he have to say about number two? Number two, the groove on the bottom of mugs. The grooves are designed so when you place it upside down in the dishwasher, it allows water to flow out rather than spill all over your feet when you take it out. All right, an actual fact. We're, 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 we're going somewhere. Oh, he liked that one. He had nothing, nothing bad to say about it. Number we're three, making the hole in pen caps. The hole's there to allow airflow, so if someone swallows it, they won't choke. Okay, literally everyone knows that. That's a very commonly known fact. I guarantee you every single person didn't know that. I mean, he's going to call me stupid if he sees this and probably lots of people, but I don't really care if he call me stupid. I'm just reacting to this. I understand he's probably just doing this for content as well, but I, I actually didn't know. I thought it was something to do f with the pen, but like if a toddler or something gets that and starts chewing on it and goes in, because that airflow is there, they won't choke. If people, if everybody already knew that, then so be it. You could call me an idiot. But I don't think 7 billion, every single person on the earth, I don't think they knew that. Number four, pom-poms on beanies. This style was made for French sailors, so they wouldn't hit their head on the ceilings of ships that were low. Sir, that is not the case. Yes, it is, sir. That is just a design choice. I'm going to search it up. Why is there pom-poms on toques? Look at this, it's in bold. To protect them from bumping their heads in tight spaces or when the seas were rough. And yeah, sailors. Like, it's a fact. Doesn't normal mean war. I don't know what he's saying. This looks like a normal picture at first. But if you look on the left, you can see a hand around the girl that doesn't belong to any one of them. People believe this is the hand of a ghost because the picture was taken near a haunted house. It is possible that that is just a, a Photoshop effect, number one. And number two, where's the backstory to that photo? The fact they were by a haunted house? That's not a terrifying backstory, but... It is a backstory. If a person looked at that picture, they wouldn't know that they're by a haunted house. That's the backstory of the photo. And the first thing he said, it could be Photoshop, which is true. This picture was taken in 1998, a few minutes before the red vehicle on the right had a bomb explode inside of it. Luckily, the father and son survived, but the person taking the picture didn't. Ah, <sighs> finally. An actual photo with an actual backstory. F finally? It's the second picture. <laughs> 75, these two brothers took a picture because their hair was sticking up. A few seconds later, lightning struck and another hiker died. The boy survived, but one of them got third-degree burns and later took his life. It is common knowledge your hair stands up and you're about to get struck by lightning. I'm pretty sure those guys were just massive. Five emojis you've been using. Okay, but I was explaining the backstory of what happened. That was the point of the video. You don't got to go off on those guys. Like, come on. <laughs> five emojis that you've been using wrong. Lots of people think this emoji symbolizes praying, but it's actually a high five. That emoji is literally named praying. What do you mean? 
Watch, I'll search up high five emoji and that emoji will pop up. Like there's obviously more than one meaning. Watch, high five emoji, it'll pop up, I guarantee it. Right here, high five emoji. Like it is a high five emoji. You also can use it for praying and people do use it for praying, but it's also a high five emoji. Look at this, it looks like a kiss, but it's actually a whistle. Oh, so that's why it's called a kiss emoji. It's not called a kiss emoji. Where's this guy getting his info from? He's just making up crap. He's saying, oh, you need to do your research. But he's the one who needs to do the research. Watch. Whistle emoji. Here is the whistle emoji, which is the one. I. It's not the exact one I had on there because I had like an, it's like an Android photo. But like, look, he has the, uh, the eye is closed, but this is the actual emoji right here. That's the whistle emoji. That's actually what it means. And if I search up kiss emoji, it's the exact same face, but with a heart. Right there. That's the kiss. The right-facing fist doesn't mean to punch, but is a sign of respect. I mean, that depends on how people interpret that message in a text, and it depends on the context. You can't just say that that's the wrong use of the emoji. He's got a good point, but isn't that like the other ones? He's like, why is this one called the kiss one then? You could use it for multiple things. I'm telling you what it means, not what you have to use it for, my friend. Ribbon, it's actually the symbol for fighting cancer. Have you literally never seen a breast cancer awareness ribbon? That looks like this, not this. There's actually a breast cancer awareness ribbon emoji that's in the emoji board. Maybe if you took a look at actual emojis before making this video, you'd know that. I don't even like using emojis. Why am I getting so mad at this? Because I got nothing better to do. <laughs> okay, let me search up ribbon emoji meaning. So to be honest, this one is one of the only ones, I think, that he's correct with. They do have an actual emoji for it, but when I did my research, I'll show you. This is probably where I found it. Look, it says, you've most likely seen a pink ribbon, and it shows that ribbon, which means to support breast cancer. So it says it right here, but I guess these people are wrong, because this is the actual one. So I don't know, I was, I got misinformed. Let's go with that. Two, let's watch that. Five emojis okay. you using wrong, part two. You may have seen this in comic books before where it means bam. But when texting, it means the person you're talking to has lost their temper or is out of control. That's what they've always meant in literally every form of media. What are you talking about? Have you ever been outside in your life where you raised in a test tube to bring <laughs> to your annoying child fan bake? Why does he gotta go off like that? And yes, I've touched grass. Like, why does that, what does that have to do with me giving facts? It, this guy's making no sense. For meaning ban, the X emoji also symbolizes a kiss. No, the kiss emoji symbolizes a kiss. Oh my God. I said it also symbolizes a kiss apart from meaning ban. Watch this, XOXO meaning. Hugs and kisses. Watch this, X emoji meaning. Look it. X emoji, a kiss. Ah, this isn't where I found it before, but it says it right there. Look at hugs and kisses, XOXO. It means a kiss. It also means the ban, like I said, but it also means a kiss. So I'm not wrong. This emoji is a Japanese ogre named Namahage, which drives away evil spirits. No, that emoji is literally just called ogre or oni. No, you're wrong again. Do your research, man. Red ogre emoji meaning Namahage. There, Namahage. He's specifically a namahage. I'm not wrong. You are wrong. It isn't a specific sort of Japanese folklore creature. Also, it is. Also, you never explained what people normally use it for and how they're using it wrong. You just explained what the emoji is. This emoji represents the mask of Tengu, which is a demon from the Japanese mythology. It's used to tell the person you're texting with that they're being arrogant. What do people normally use it for to con- I never said- People normally use it. I said what it is used for. The red line on paper. In the past, mice and rats used to chew on paper. So to prevent losing any information, they started leaving spaces where the damage was most likely to occur. All right, this guy guaranteed has to have never touched grass. Why does he keep saying that? Never touched grass. Like, why? It makes no sense. He's actually making me mad saying that. Like, he's got nothing, no nothing else to say. Like, this guy's making a hate speech video 10 minutes long where he could be the one touching the grass. His life, because this man, this man is born in a test tube. Any human being with a quarter of a brain cell who has ever held a piece of paper knows that the red line is called a margin and it's yeah, I know. used to correct your lining and make it so it's not terrible. I'll show you why is there... A red line on paper. Paper manufacturers added margins as a safeguard to satisfy the rodent's journalistic appetites. 
while helping while also helping to protect the written works which is what i said three the dimples and golf balls golf balls used to be completely smooth but players realized that cracked and scuffed balls flew better so they kept using their old ones so manufacturers started adding dimples so people would buy new ones okay so for aerodynamic purposes like everybody else knew some people who don't golf probably knew that but i i guarantee you some people watch this video like my fans here you guys probably not every single person knew that. I don't know, I could be wrong. You seem to keep getting things about your own videos wrong. First, you didn't know what a backstory was. And What's he saying? He's going back all the way to the beginning of the video when I was talking about the pictures with disturbing backstories. I know what a backstory was, and I said it, three of them, for three different pictures. Now you don't know the difference between a use and a backstory. Because golf balls, dimples are not so- I don't even know what he's saying anymore. He's pulling stuff out of his butt. <laughs> Like we don't know the use of because we all know it but you just explain the backstory as to why i this has gone on long enough honestly these are these are, i've just been and speaking of touching grass i live on a golf course and i golf so technically i have touched the grass <laughs> actually let's check out the comments let's see what this guy has to say Oh, I'm gonna leave a dislike just because this is the first video I've left a dislike on. I'm not the type of person to be like, oh, I hate this person. I'm gonna leave a dislike, leave some hate speech in the comments and stuff. I just either like the video, don't like the video, just leave. If the video is not for me, it's for somebody else, right? He steals all of his jokes. A lot of them are popular, but some are created by people who aren't as popular as him. And he takes credit for the jokes. It makes me so mad. Okay, first of all, I've never ever said that I made, like, I'll be honest here. Whenever I get a joke off the internet, I always say that I got the joke off the internet. I'll show you guys. Okay, this video right here. Hey. Inspired by Google, but changed to work in a video format. I'm not taking credit for it. Lots of times, if there's something online, it's like, Sally went to the mall to get some carrots, and then John seen her, or something like that. Then it, it inspires me, and then look, I say, but changed to work in a video format. So then I would put it like, I'm the character, I'm... I'm Shelly or something, my mom's name. Let's just say I'm Shelly. Hi, can I get these five carrots, please? Like, I make it work for a video, and people enjoy watching them. That's why I do them. Like, I never want to, like, steal it. I always give credit when it is due. And this person says, um, when some are created by people who aren't as popular as them, I never take videos from people on TikTok. If I do, like, I get inspired by people. And if I do, like, I say inspired by this person. Like, I always give credit when it is due. But, like, I don't steal from people who aren't as popular as him. I don't know where they got that one from. Bro, coming from the guy who literally plays Roblox Pokemon, LMAO. I don't personally play Roblox, but I'm not going to hate on people who play Roblox. Because I know lots of you guys do play Roblox because it's a popular game. Roblox Pokemon gameplay. Dislike. <laughs> I've had enough of this guy. Like, I'll admit, there's a lot of videos that are, like, popular jokes, but there's so many different websites online that have, like, recreated the joke, just maybe used a different name or something. So there's no way of telling who actually made up the joke. So lots, that's why I say inspired by Google. Because I see, like, the same joke 50 times, different websites and stuff. But the reason I do those videos is because people enjoy them. And lots of you guys who are subscribed and probably watch this video enjoy those videos as well. But I do tons of original videos too. Like, I'll show you. I'm going to go to uh, most popular. This video right here, 44 million views. That's an original video. Smoothest moves done by humans, 32 million views. That's not like a joke online, but I have to admit, I got inspired by somebody else. It was like a kind of a mini trend on TikTok and I got inspired to do that. And that's what TikTok is. Lots of people, there's trends everywhere. People do the same thing. This one is not um, like, again, it's an original video. It's not a joke or anything. 27 million views, like my most viewed videos our original videos but i'm not gonna say like all of my videos are original and i'm sure tons of people's videos aren't original too but like <sighs> i'm done speaking for the day my friends i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you go down hit the like button subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you guys in the next one peace